Giovanni, what's happening? I like Jermaine Beckford. I was not expecting yourself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get into rapping then? So I've been rapping. I, w- I used to write lyrics when I was 14. Oh, yeah? So, and I used do you to still keep... remember? Do you still remember your very first rap? Your very um, first line? Yeah, I do. So you don't because you I do, I do. do. <laughs> I, I do, you know. Oh, then let's, have a, let's have it. It was, it was time is of the essence. I just love her in my presence. She's something real special, like when mummy bought me presents. And that was, a, that was about a girl I fancied at the time. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Yeah, she's called Demi. <laughs> oh, for real, yeah? Same yeah, dropping yeah. as well. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's sick. I love that. Yeah. Does it not get a little bit tasty, you know? Yeah, even in episode one, people was, was, were nearly fighting, if I'm honest. And throughout the whole competition, there's a lot, there's a lot of tension. So it's good for TV. It's exciting. Really? It's exciting. So, talking about the competition, what's your competition like? Who would you say is up there with, with the best rappers in the, uh, in the show right now? With, alongside yourself, obviously. Yeah, for me, man, like, I think they're all amazing artists. And every, every episode, and I was asked by one of the videographers, who, who do I fear? Who am I up against? I always say me. Yeah, I always say me. Because yeah, I'm, of course, I'm, that's the best answer. I'm the only person that I'm up against, man. I don't watch any of anybody else. They're all amazing, but I just focus on myself. We're celebrating Black History Month too right now, yeah. Yeah. So how is it, how important is it for you to celebrate and recognize recognize those inspirational figures? Um, and like, who were your heroes when you were coming up? When you were growing up? For me, um, Black History Month for me is every month, man. Like, it's not just one month for me anyway. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. I know um, what you mean. So the people that I celebrated when I was younger, um, I used to look up to um, my mum, if I'm making it a bit more personal. Um, yeah. That's where I got my, my artist name from, Graft, because she's worked really hard mm-hmm. um, for me and the family from a young age. So I used to look up to my mum a lot. And then other sporting inspirations, I used to look up to... Um, Ronald Dino, when I was a when Dino, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronald Dino. Is that where you got the inspiration from your hair from? Yeah. No, not even, man. <laughs> <laughs> not even. Ronald Dino and um, who else would I say? Um, definitely Michael Jordan. Michael yeah. Jordan. Yeah, unreal. Um, have you ever experienced racism? Um. I'd, I've definitely experienced racism, man, for sure. Yeah. What was it like? Um, for instance, there's one example, like, say, I might be walking on the, on the pavement and there might be um, a couple, a white couple, for instance, or even an Asian couple, and I might even have my hood up because it's cold or it's raining, and I might even not have my hood up. And sometimes mm. I've seen them move across the street just because they feel very uncomfortable based on um, a lack of knowledge and ignorance and yep. just based off my own appearance. So, yeah, it's, it is uncomfortable, especially growing up and witnessing that. But as I've got older, I just laugh it off. Yeah. Do you know what? And, and that's something I can relate to as well. Mm. People judge you without actually knowing you, without having an opportunity to talk to you and, and to see what you're like. Not everybody's the same. You know, they may have had a bad, uh, bad influence or a bad example of meeting somebody of, of colour. Yeah. Um, and then they, they end up judging everybody by that one experience they had. And it's frustrating, it's unfortunate. But as you touched on there, it's about education and it's, it's a little bit of ignorance as well. So for what you do, just keep smiling, keep walking by, keep living your life, keep being happy. Yeah. Listen, we're proud of you, mate. Listen, Leeds... The city, Leeds, is proud of you as well. Mm. What is it about Leeds that makes it so special in your opinion? For me, yeah, I would definitely say the people. And the reason why I say that is because when I'm in Leeds, I could be walking anywhere. Someone's going to say good morning, good afternoon, yeah. good evening. <laughs> Just that, really, the, the people in Leeds are very nice and welcoming. And um, they communicate a lot with you, even if they don't know you. And say when I go nice. down to London for anything to do with music, I'm not saying the people are not nice, but it's not the same vibe. 
they, they're mm. very just focused getting about with their life, but it leads people to more inclusive and welcoming. Listen, I know exactly what you mean. I'm from London. Okay. And growing up in London, growing up in London is exactly the same. Yeah. Like, I, I used to walk down the street and everybody's got their heads down and they just go from A to B. They're not interested in the journey. They're interested in, in getting to the destination. <laughs> yeah. When I moved up to Leeds, honestly, the first two days, I went for a walk along the canal, Leeds Liverpool Canal. Yeah, yeah. There were yeah. like 24 people in like six minutes that said, oh, good morning. I'm, I'm turning around thinking, whoa, hold on, what's going on here? This is new. It's strange. <laughs> so I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> um, right. Now you want, obviously, you want to win the competition, right? You wouldn't enter it if you didn't want to win it. That's it. Um, not only for you, but for the city of Leeds. Have you got any raps about this current Leeds United squad or the big boss man, Marcelo Bielsa. Yeah, that's funny, you know, um, because for the final of the competition of the rap game, we've got to write our own song. And I did mention um, Leeds getting promoted, um, Bielsa, and just the city of Leeds. So I do, I have, oh, I have um, certain lyrics that I've wrote about Leeds, yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah. You want to you wanna spit a couple just out, yeah? It. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> Let me just get it up for you, because they are quite fresh, to be fair, man. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so it's, it's this. So, look, I'm repping for my city, spitting heat with Kenny. Now Leeds are in the Premier League. I'm going to hold my city up like Bielsa at Leeds. Always knew that I would blossom, but I needed the soil. And the rap game's the soil where I planted the seed. Yeah, go on, man. Go on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm all over it. I'm all over it. So, just before we get off, when is it out? When is it on uh, BBC iPlayer uh, and BBC Free? Yeah. So everybody can can tune in and throw their support out and 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 follow you and everything. Cool. Um. So the rap game has all the episode one has already been released. Um, yep. That got released. Which they can catch on iPlayer. So you can yep. catch that on iPlayer. Um, every other episode airs on Thursday night, every Thursday at 7 pm on BBC iPlayer. Um, everyone tune in, everyone get behind me and support because I'm really going to bring the title back home to Leeds. Episode yeah. one, I was just warming into it. Every other episode, I've got you covered, man. Don't worry. So everyone tune yeah. in. And it's coming <laughs> back, exactly. to Leeds, man. It's coming back. That's exactly what we want to hear. Brother, Graft, listen, good luck. We'll be following your, your progress. Got our fingers crossed for you, my brother. Take care. Good luck and thank you very much for coming on, mate. You've been amazing. Thank you for having me, man. Great to meet you as well, bro. Likewise. Thank Likewise. you. Likewise. 100%. See you later, man. <laughs>